You are invited to this Great Performances 10th Anniversary Celebration. Great Performances is made possible by grants from Exxon, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the National Endowment for the Arts, this station and other public television stations. <laughs> Places for a curtain, please. Overture and go. <laughs> The lean effect, which you have just seen, was accomplished with the use of a special lean heel shoe. <laughs> this lean heel is a heavy metal fitting, which attaches the performer's shoe to the standing surface, thereby anchoring him in place. This then permits the forward cantilever action. <laughs> the lean effect carries with it obvious limitations, particularly in the context of a performance with a small cast, as it must always be followed by a pause or dead space. <laughs> during which the performer changes shoes. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. It's uh, new places for <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
This performance is taking place on a traditional proscenium stage, <laughs> with the main curtain just upstage of the arch. Traditionally, prop, set, and costume changes occur behind this curtain while the performance continues here, downstage. In the legitimate theater, <laughs> one might find a short scene or monologue playing here to cover for this change. On the variety stage, one might find a solo singer, a comedian, or perhaps a ventriloquist. Among practitioners of the contemporary, or new theater, however, <laughs> there is a profound and deep-seated mistrust of the proscenium. <laughs> and it is often thought preferable for the audience simply to watch the change being made. Warning, cross to podium. <laughs> Manifesto. The purity we seek in a new theater. La pureté que nous cherchons dans le théâtre. <laughs> Calls for a commitment to the affective mode. Exige un engagement sur le mode affectif. <laughs> now, what do we mean? when we speak of the affective mode. <laughs> what do we mean when we speak of this affective mode? Well, by affective mode, do you simply mean emotion? In which case, why is it the particular province of the new theater? Places for a dance segment. <laughs> association segment. Uh, people in seats here tonight and together in the theater, brought together in theater, the people in the, uh, people just brought together, united in theater, united, unity, union, theater, people, union, uh, actors' equity association, and, oh, not actors' equity. I mean, we are, we're equity. Places for dance segment. <laughs> no problem with equity. <laughs> Scene monologue. <laughs> Say, uh, have you got any hat tricks? I'm sorry? Hat tricks. You know, we've seen the dancing and the business with the cane. I just wondered if you had any hat tricks. Well, this is a contemporary performance piece. It's postmodern. Uh -huh. All of the imagery which you're seeing is laid within a formalist construct. Uh -huh. uh, so no hat tricks. Uh, no. Oh, no. I, uh, I do hat tricks. Or... Hat moves, I prefer to call them. What? Uh, if you've seen hat moves. These are hat moves. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, anything else? Oh, well, all types of, of hat move. Uh, the difficult ones, uh -huh. the simpler ones, they're hat moves. Yeah, well, anything else at all? Well, you can involve the whole body uh -huh. in oh, that hat uh, move. Let's see that. All right, if you've seen this, uh, this kind of thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
places for a dance segment. image segment. <laughs> now, is this a device you will continue to use throughout the piece? I'm sorry? Is this a device you will continue to use throughout the piece? I am performing. I am trying to be here in this space now. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, yes, and I'm just trying to determine the various performance devices, that's all. Well, performance in the new theater is not a matter of devices. <laughs> performance is an aspect of prophecy. It's a leap of faith. You see, I don't think you understand, my friend, what a very big jump it is from down where you are up here to where I am. And it is not a jump which a device will make for you. Oh, I beg to differ. Well, you please. You go right ahead and differ. But what I'm saying is that in the new theater... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, just a device. Try it. <laughs> Warning, costume change. <laughs> As before, the onstage costume change demystifies the theatrical experience. <laughs> segment. Warning, costume change. First homesickness song. Melody. 
Morning, costume change. Places for a dance segment. Morning. <laughs> Clear the stage, please. <laughs> Clear the stage, please. Places for a curtain. (laughs) 
The recurrent image and the lack of narrative structure show the decline of the role of the playwright in contemporary theater <laughs> and the rise of the actor as poet. His subconscious speaking through the work in what might be termed a sort of dramaturgical ventriloquism. <laughs> the contemporary performer's imagination seeks a liberation from the empty polish of conventional theater. And, uh, well, it might be nice if we tried to sort of tie it all together at this point. Uh, first, there was this guy dancing, and uh, then... me. I was dancing. Well, you can't be both John the Baptist and the one who danced before the king. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not John the Baptist. Well, as soon as I saw your head here, that's what I got. I mean, I got John the Baptist. Now, are you saying you're not? Well, my head is here because, uh... Just answer yes or no. Well, then, no, I don't intend... You may to... step down. <laughs> Okay, so you're a prophet. No, a non-prophet. Well, uh, <laughs> well, what was that stuff earlier? Something about an aspect of prophecy. Oh, well, at that point, I was speaking metaphorically. A metaphor? What's the central metaphor? Of this work? Well, I guess it's martyrdom, isn't it? I mean, John the Baptist. I am not John the Baptist. You don't mean you're the other one. <laughs> uh, what other one? Well, the one who came after. I think that's a bit much. No, I'm not the other one. See, it's modern. I'm not anyone. You may step down. <laughs> Okay, you said you were dancing before. That's right, I was. Before who? <laughs> before you were asking these questions. No, 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 before the king. Don't you see we have to tie all this in with John the Baptist? I am yeah. not John the Baptist. All right, forget John the Baptist. <laughs> we still have a king, we still have a martyr. Well, let's just say you're St. Thomas. No, I am not St. Thomas. Well, then you ain't stuck down. <laughs> well, what if I said I was St. Thomas? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> You can, you can see whatever you want to see. I would just like to get out of the trunk. Fine, fine. We'll put you down as St. Thomas uh, Beckett. Uh, Beckett? Uh, you didn't say Beckett. Well, that's who you are. We just agree. Oh, well, yeah, but this sounds like Samuel Beckett. Yes, it certainly does. My work? I mean, you think what I do is like Samuel Beckett? Is this? Well, yes, the offstage forces, this whole fixation with the New Testament. <laughs> Dances, that ukulele, what? how about that? That what is not Samuel Beckett. I'm talking Don't about that. That's irrelevant. <laughs> Second homesickness song. <laughs> It's hard to find a pal that's true That you can tell your troubles to And when you send a letter home Your mother's voice rings in your ear and then you'll cross the teas with kisses while your pen gets busy. And then you'll dot the eyes with tears <laughs> and all your sunshine turns to blue when you're alone long way from home oh yeah <laughs> when you're a long long way from home from 
home. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I must escape so that I can find a new, new theater. Environmental staging, such as you have just seen, <laughs> is an area of frequent experimentation in the contemporary theater. The objective being to bring the spectators into closer proximity with the action. Uh, much in the same way, for example, that a ventriloquist may have his dummy interact with members of the audience. <laughs> if I may be permitted a comparison. Use the device. Oh, no, I, I shouldn't. It, it's cheap. <laughs> Use the device. I heard you, and I think it's a trick, a gimmick. This is one of the deceptions of the bourgeois theater. <laughs> I, for one, would... <laughs> Warning. at this time. <laughs> if you could just stand, please, and face this direction. So you're uh, standing, that's good. And now extend the arms outward to either side <laughs> and uh, feel the energy through the fingers. <laughs> Hey, 
pay no attention to the words you hear in the room around you. We're going to root those legs deep in the earth. <laughs> Nothing could push past you. Do you realize that with the so-called staking, there's light in all these people's eyes? Well, that's the new theater. Now, just extend. What about the people up there? How they can't even see you? That is just the light booth. No, you know? not the light booth. The special invited guest of the theater. <laughs> you mean funding people? That's right. <laughs> We'll be coming back to this later if you'll think extension. You see, it's a, an experimental word. But I have no more, no content. That's not true. <laughs> Wait. If you make it, if you do create a new theater, I do a ventriloquist act if you ever need one. <laughs> yes? We can do it. We can create a new theater. Without the baggage of the old theater, I'm not, I'm not even going to take these things. Well. <laughs> I'll take a couple of things for continuity. Just, you know, you should have an extra hat in case you have to. Oh, it's not a real one. <laughs> joke items and one quick thing for between images. You see, you do one image and just before you do the next, you, and to my mind it's not a trick or a, or a gimmick really so much as a... <laughs> All right, yes, I, I need the thing. Yes, I'm, I'm dependent on them. I'm, I'm doing serious work. Don't put me in that trunk. I'm doing images from a New Testament. Shepherd. Uh, images from a New Testament. I'm not going in there, don't you? All right! Shakespeare! Shakespeare! <laughs> Theater. Warning. <laughs> well, what play are you doing? Well, it doesn't matter what play we're doing. We're doing a lot of the plays mixed because it's new theater. And... <laughs> Shakespeare! Warning. <laughs> well, who's the director? Well, there isn't a director. There's only the actor who interprets the myth which he encounters in Shakespeare! <laughs> <laughs> no director! Well, people come in, they tell us what they think. They... It's Shakespeare! It's Shakespeare! You realize you can't do this sort of thing by yourself. Shakespeare! What sort of production concept do you have? This huh? is on a bridge, pal! Shakespeare! <laughs> you need a director! No, I don't want a director. Everyone's here, let's get started right away. Please move forward, please. You'll be reading the Duke of Heaven. Right? Just take it very smart, please. And to begin with, just sort of play it, feel it, anything you want to do with it, really. All right, music, please. Will you, my lord? Ah, uh, let's uh, stop there for a moment. Um, we need to loosen it up a little bit, huh? Just kind of loosen it up, sort of free it up, kind of let it flow. 
Yes, that's right. Is it Phil? Bill. Bill. Bill, just take a moment, Bill. We've got to really loosen it up. Really let it flow all the way through the body. Yes, that's right. That's coming very nice. And what's the first line, please? Will you, my lord, attend with oh, wait for the music, Bill. Sorry. Music, please. <laughs> Will you, my lord, attend within the noble... Oh, Phil, 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 uh, classicalize it. This is Shakespeare, remember. Oh, um, do, uh, do what? Classicalize! <laughs> Will you, my lord? Oh, because it's Shakespeare. Shakespeare, yeah. music, please. <laughs> <laughs> Will you, my lord, attend within the noble... Uh, Phil, 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 much looser, huh? Very much looser, very much freer. Tell you what, let's try working with a prop, huh? Sometimes that helps to get the feeling, right? Uh... Let's try working with a hat, okay, and, uh, well, the gun. Now, <laughs> use it, huh? Really feel it this time. And remember, loose, very good, music, please. <laughs> Will you, my lord, attend with him the nobles, France? France. 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 And Burgundy. I will hear a while. <laughs> Without your Albany, Gloucester, Cornwall, Kent, and such. Please, leave us. Yes, very much better, Bill. Very much better. Music up, please. My lord, I go with all convenient speed. The English accent. <laughs> no, no, not the English accent. The English exeo. Means they all go up. It's a stage direction. Don't let it I just didn't hear the last thing you said. Uh -huh, I said, don't let it throw you. Oh, no. Loose, relax, free. <laughs> All right, Bill, look, let's, uh, let's try something different here, right? Uh, tell you what, why don't you cue the music when you're ready? Right, let's see if that works. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll say okay when I want you to play. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, my fault. I didn't mean it right there. I'll be in the center. Yeah, just take it when you're ready, Bill. Okay. <laughs> sorry, uh, my fault again. I was speaking to him. Bill, is everything okay? Uh, uh, he was speaking to me there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh... Bill, loose, free, use the prop. Okay. Let's go. Okay, not yet. <laughs> but Bill, what play are you doing? No. Is he really dead? You know, I'm not following your choices here at all. <laughs> I, th I think that he's dead. Bill, what about the playwright? He's dead. The playwright is dead? No. The playwright is dead? What sort of a facile anachronism is that? The playwright is dead. Now, if you don't want to do Shakespeare, or you can't do Shakespeare, fine, but don't ask me to accept this jargon. Warning. <laughs> Oh, my gracious. Arthur Miller. Where? Hey! <laughs> Given the current concern in the contemporary theater with a re-examination of the popular performing media, one might do well to take another look at the ancient art of ventriloquism. <laughs> Ventriloquism is one of the oldest arts known to man. <laughs> Historical records show that it has been practiced since the dawn of civilization, often as a form of black magic used by unscrupulous leaders to keep a superstitious populace in tow. All right. Performer to the stage, please. Performer to the stage. No, don't come. It's a trap. There's hey, danger. Get off! Get off! <laughs> Performer to the stage, please. Performer to the stage, please. No! No more. I will not take flight from you. I will fly. I will not live within your confines. I'll fly. Here with the people on the bare platform. They're with me, I'm with them. I'll fly. <laughs> uh, 
And yet there may be avenues of approach within the system which we are not exploring. <laughs> You'll come down then? Yes. I'll be right down. <laughs> This is Eddie. Hi. Uh, why don't you recite that speech that I taught you? What speech? The one about the lean shoes. The what? The device that we saw used up there. Didn't you learn that speech? Don't touch me. <laughs> didn't you learn that speech? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, why not? Uh, my dog ate it. Now, you don't expect me to believe that. Well, that's true. Well, you don't even have a dog. Yes, I do. Oh, come on now. Well, you don't know about him. He's a, uh, a recent acquisition. Well, what kind of a dog is he? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Well, it's hard to tell. Well, what would you say his, his parents were? Careless. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you think that's very amusing. Yeah, you don't hear any jokes like that nowadays. <laughs> no, that's true, Eddie, you don't. Don't touch me. <laughs> I've got a lot of uh, nice cat material, too. I don't think that's really appropriate here. Cats are very big these days, you know. It's really a marketing trend. Well, that may be, but this isn't really a commercial production that we're doing here. What do you mean? Well, we're trying to create a new theater. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why don't you just redecorate this one? Well, I, think you're, I think you're too young to understand. Get your hands off me. You're a regular octopus. Uh, listen, Eddie, we'd better go now. We don't have much time here. Can I do my Johnny Mathis imitation? No, I don't think so. It's very good. Well, I'm sure it is, but this is hardly the place. Look at me. I said no. <laughs> All right. Well, we'd we better go now. Hi. Be quiet. <laughs> He's a talkative little character. Uh, Mr. Irwin and I would now like to perform a series of short clown pieces entitled The Clown Bagatelles. These will be preceded by a short overture entitled The Clown Bagatelle Overture. <laughs>
attend me now, for to my head it came to tell the story of one king, Lear by name. <laughs> oh, it may sound familiar to your ear. There is a version by Shackey's beer. <laughs> Ah, but you know the bard, he doth ramble so. He tells the story artfully, but he tells it slow. So if you do not need literary consecration, please list to me. I'll give you the story's quick summation. You see, there were three daughters, two were bad, one was not. There were two sons, one was quite a bastard, and the other legitimate. <laughs> there were a fool, a pony madman, a servant in disguise, who ran about. There were 11 deaths, one suicide, one lord had his eyes gouged out. Now, this is... Only speaking nobility-wise, the common folk, they died like flies. <laughs> because in consequence of everything I've said before, there was in this kingdom a civil war which so distressed the ladies and the gentlemen that the king gave some speeches and went cuckoo in the end. <laughs> This has been a celebration of Great Performances' 10th anniversary season. Great Performances is made possible by grants from Exxon, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the National Endowment for the Arts, this station and other public television stations. Thank you.